welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Naima, and this is going to be a productive summer day in my life. Vlog when I was in there, so got it. I'm nervous for the intro. We're ready to go. These are some questions that I want to ask. I'm going to be vlogging tomorrow, but I feel like the most productive days are the days where you set up the night before. We're going to make the to-do list for tomorrow morning and do some other prep. So I just thought I'd take you through that because I feel like if I don't do a schedule for myself, like actually on a whiteboard, then I kind of feel like a mess. I don't know. It's been 11 minutes. Okay, here's what it looks like. So I love to do my planning like two days in advance on this whiteboard. I read this book called Redeeming Your Time and I feel like it really changed my perspective on like to-do lists in general. It was just like really good. And it's also a Christian book on time management, which I feel like I at least haven't found a ton of those. So, so that's that. Just to show you everything, I make one of these for the week. This was already done. I did it like two days ago. Um, and this helps me just get an overview of the week and feel prepared because I feel like there's just like a lot going on all the time, okay? This whiteboard, I have the sermon notes on one side and then prayer requests on another side. So, it is a Sunday. I need to go through my sermon notes. I love having this in my room because church is really important and Obviously the sermons and the teaching is a huge part of church. I feel like I can hear a great sermon and not really be super affected by it because I just move on too quickly. By doing this, I feel like I've been able to really let a sermon sink in and just dwell because I feel like usually with most sermons, you get a certain question at the end that you can then work in your week just to sermon and pray about. Anyways, this has just been really helpful for me. This is the side of the board for the message. It was about idolatry and it was based on this scripture. These are the big things that my pastor is talking about. These are some questions that I want to ask myself. So I will see you tomorrow. going to have my bible time now i thought i was gonna wake up at six because sometimes that does happen i didn't want to set an alarm I just wanted my body to rest like naturally my goal was to be filming by nine i have put off laundry and i need to eat breakfast on days that are really busy i think the biggest temptation is to not have bible time and just prioritize like my agenda over god's agenda that's something i really I'm still working on. It's really hard to like just put your things on pause, especially because I wake up and like right when I wake up, I'm like, what do I need to do? What do I need to do? What do I need to do? Like that's just the type of person I am. So it's hard to just be still sometimes and be in the word. Thing is that nothing else exists aside from God. Like, like He's first because He created everything. And like I'm doing everything for him. I have to like really remind myself of that. And also how important daily bread is. If I'm not spending time in the word, I'm just like not the same type of girl. I don't feel like I'm as pleasant to be around because I'm just not fully satisfied in the Lord. I'm using this journal because sometimes to stay focused while reading, I need to just be jotting down different lessons. And it honestly really helps. So I used to never really journal while I was reading because I felt like it was too much effort <laughs> and I was just like too tired but now that it's summer I have a little extra time I'm trying it you know before I finish up my bible time I wanted to read to you something that stuck out you cannot drink the cup of the lord and the cup of demons you cannot partake of the table of the lord and the table of the demons shall we provoke the lord to jealousy and are we stronger than he it's almost eight now so I'm actually going to be eating this sandwich. It's left over from my brother's birthday. It's kind of embarrassing since it's 8 a.m. and I'm gonna eat a chicken Caesar club wrap. But honestly, I'm looking forward to it. And then I have this green juice. It tastes really bad. Like I tried drinking it yesterday, but I couldn't. It's kale, spinach, cucumber, celery, green apple, parsley, and lemon and ginger. So 
trying to do it though it's good for me i don't want to get more girls too it's 9 16 and i did my makeup i did my hair and my outfit that i'm going to film now, but i'm trying to find a good spot in the room which is always a challenge some notes for the intro of the video that i'm gonna film i think i think i moved with this I think that looks good. Okay. And I have to like walk myself in. Oh yeah. I think that's what we're gonna do. Sounds good. Okay. I'm done filming. I feel really tired. Here is what's what's left. Okay, so I'm gonna go kind of get this area situated. <laughs> Brushing a little bit. I'm into the gym. Here's what I'm wearing and Got this bag because I'm gonna shower there. So, running a little bit late. It's 11:34. So, let's go. Driving to the gym. It's 11:36. I'm doing a bar class at 12, and I'd like to get there like 10 minutes early to set up, stretch, like get my mind ready for the workout. You know? Yeah. So my boyfriend is also coming to the gym today. He's not doing the class with me. We're kind of gonna do our thing separately. Like, I'm probably gonna the sauna love it love it love it i decided not to get gas i'll be there in a minute thanks for being on time you're the best i made it a big deal to cam like oh please be on time i love being i i need to be at my workout classes 15 minutes early and i'm running late i will see you there Such a good class. Such a good class. And Cam, what did you do? Um, some cardio. Uh -huh. and shower. <laughs> yes. Hi, a quick update is that done with the gym. Um, Cam and I were able to talk and get some stuff done like individually. <laughs> Going to go to the mall to meet with Catherine. I'm so excited. She's just so much fun. So it's raining but it's like hot rain, which I think is just so nice. Like, I love hot rain. Oh, it's so cute. Do you want to be in it? Sure. I love that. I also, I forgot, totally forgot to vlog when I was in there, so. Wait, that's so beautiful. That's so pretty. I know, this is the Bible I have, but in like a different thingy. Oh, look at this. What does that say? The Word, the Word of God. God. Oh, I'm gonna be getting this. This is Catherine. We, we spent like a long time in Sephora. She was really patient because <laughs> I went back and forth a lot. And I ended up getting things I wasn't even gonna get. But it doesn't matter. We're we'll getting in all seats. And oh, I have to get this. Stop. You ready? <laughs> How much is it? I like that. $45. <laughs> no. From Sephora, I got some good stuff though. I'm gonna show you. I wasn't expecting to get stuff for my hair, but I really have been wanting to invest in like a good shampoo and conditioner. So I'm trying out the pattern brand. Their whole thing is like catering to curly hair. So I got the medium conditioner, which like they have different levels of how intense the conditioner is, which is so, so cool. I got the cleansing shampoo. I'm so, so excited for this Miss Dior perfume. It's just like the regular one. And I've just like never um, smelled it before. This is a roller ball. This one's just 20 milliliters. Um, so it's like a really little size. And then I got this shine spray and it actually really i felt like it did work for my hair so i like that iliad night light bronzing powder and it's talc free which i think is important then from abercrombie i got these they're like trouser pants and they're cream and they were on clearance for 50 dollars but it was half off of clearance and they were 25 dollars. i am going to pick up chipotle for cam he's at work right now so i'm gonna drop it off for him because he picked up a shift tonight and I want to encourage that, you know, hardworking men, picking up shifts, being a manly man, we need to encourage that, right? So we're gonna go to Chipotle, which is literally like a minute from here. And honestly, I also am really craving Chipotle, but we do have food at home. So I don't want to just like be spending. Tonight, I hope to really get editing done. 
got it. Got gas. I got to sit with Cam on his 15 while he ate his Chipotle. That was cute. Now I'm going home and eating. I'm so hungry. Okay, I'm home. Here's my dinner. Some salad and some pasta with some chicken. I'm going to eat. Probably watch Gilmore Girls. Try to figure out my college roommate situation because it's a little bit complicated right now. However, I'm so happy to be home and eat. 9 o'clock. I was editing for like an hour or two and I got through a rough cut of this vlog. Very good. I also cleaned up in the kitchen. I'm going to do some more prep for tomorrow, um, finalize my schedule, create my to-do list for tomorrow. And tomorrow is another day I have off of work. I have Sunday through Tuesday off of work usually. so my three-day weekend anyways i hope that you enjoyed watching this video and you feel motivated to have some productive and fun days obviously all my days are not like this all my days are not always planned out things don't always happen to a plan see you in the next video very excited bye